In this example, we're going to look at a useful tip when outputting data to Microsoft Excel. I have a challenge workflow that I've shown in a prior video, and I want to take these data and write them to Excel. I'll drag an output data tool, and I'm going to elect XLSX. I'll just make a test demo file. And sheet one as a default is fine with me. So I'll click OK. And notice the defaults here. Option three, output options, create new sheet. That's the default for Microsoft XLSX. So I'm going to run this workflow. And I didn't receive any errors. It looks like those files were written to that XLSX. And we can confirm that. So everything worked. Now, this is a workflow that I want to run over and over again. Maybe it's scheduled daily or something else like that. So watch what happens when I run it again. I get a sheet already exists error. So because I created that sheet the last time, and the default here is create new sheet, what do I do? Well, the common practice is to go over here and say, all right, let's overwrite that sheet or range and then run it again. And now everything worked. Well, if you do it this way, you'll always have to run your workflow more than once just to set up that initial sheet, won't you? Because the first time you create an output, it's on create new sheet. And then after you have to switch it over to overwrite sheet or range so you don't get an error, right? Well, that's actually not true. There is a hidden shortcut or tip inside of this dropdown, and the wording is very tricky. Okay, so let's look at create new sheet again. This is the default. What Alteryx is saying is, I'm going to make a new sheet for you. If that sheet already exists, then I can't make a new sheet, and I'm going to throw an error. Let's go over here to overwrite sheet or range. Now, the hidden wording here is, Alteryx is saying, I'm going to overwrite the sheet if it exists. If it doesn't exist, I'm going to make a new sheet. So actually, this is the powerful option that we want. Okay, if your sheet doesn't exist, it'll be written. And if it does exist, it'll be overwritten. So let's try this again. I'm going to drag an output data tool. And I'm going to write to Microsoft Excel SX. And let's call this test demo two, which doesn't exist here. And sheet one is OK. And right away, I'm going to select overwrite sheet or range. Okay, notice that that file does not exist. We click run. And it's telling me that it was written. Okay, what happens if I run it again? No error. So as a best practice, when you drag these output data tools and you set them up to run on Microsoft Excel SX, or sorry, rather any Microsoft Excel document, you can select overwrite sheet or range or even overwrite file right away without needing to create a new sheet first and then switching the option. Okay, so this is a, an efficient way of using these output tools for Microsoft Excel.